Garden site is closed to capacity tonight. That's because animal control officers have taken dozens of dogs and cats into their care. The seizure happened this morning near Port Felix on the eastern shore. The CBC's Joan Weeks was there. It's a mess. It's a real mess. Ammonia readings were so high in the small two-bedroom house, SPCA officers would only go back in wearing gas masks. Ammonia is caused by urine. In this case, the urine of 40 cats and 24 dogs. It's really bad, and a lot of people don't realize it because they're living in it. And they, they just think it's a normal day. But like when you and I come down here, and we go near the door, and the smell gets us, it just would knock you over. How do I feel if I get took in? The pet's owner says watching her oldest dogs go onto the truck is like losing family. I only had the two dogs, that one and the one that's tied over there. But then they got together and they had pups. And they kept multiplying. So I didn't know what to do with them. DeYoung says she couldn't afford to spay and neuter them, but she has fed them well and she thinks they're healthy. There's a lot of difference between being healthy and being taken care of properly. And just because they look healthy, they may not be. The SPCA doesn't believe the DeYoungs were deliberately cruel, so they don't plan to lay charges. Now, the SPCA is going to do it all over again at this house belonging to the daughter. It contains dozens of cats. All the animals that are determined to be healthy will be available for adoption at the Dartmouth Metro Shelter. And Mrs. DeYoung is going to be allowed to keep her two most beloved dogs. Joan Weeks, CBC News, Port Felix. At first glance, it appears the animals are healthy, but that didn't stop the SPCA from seizing 88 dogs and cats from a family in Port Felix, Nova Scotia today. They call this a horrible case of animal hoarding. CTV's Dan McIntosh is there. It was a dog show like no other. One by one, 24 dogs were paraded out of this small house in the tiny village of Port Felix, Nova Scotia seized by the SPCA in a mid-morning raid. We went and got the warrants from down here because we had been here before. We couldn't get in. We, never, we were never allowed in the house. When it was over, 24 dogs and 64 cats were seized from two properties. The animals are owned by Yvonne Boucher and her mother, Christine DeYoung. At one point, DeYoung threatened reporters at the scene, but later she explained she was just upset with the raid. This was a surprise. I was having dinner. I had to give up my dinner for doing that foolish bunch of people. When it was time to enter the home, SPCA officers were forced to wear gas masks because of the high ammonia levels inside. Conditions were deplorable, with animal urine and feces collecting on the floor. SPCA officials say they tried to work many times with the mother and daughter with no cooperation. And a lot of people just don't want any help. And then after a while, they just start hoarding animals. What am I supposed to do with them? If you took them and drowned them, that's what I trying to do. So, what could you do? Many of the animals appeared healthy, but officers say appearances can be deceiving. Healthy, there's a lot of difference between being healthy and being taken care of properly. All the animals seized here today will be taken to the animal shelter in Dartmouth, where a veterinarian is waiting to conduct an examination on each and every one of them. Those that are deemed healthy will be available for adoption. Dan McIntosh, CTV News, Port Felix, Nova Scotia.